have no idea. Can't imagine business would be booming. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tuck Rule Takes episode 130, the Joe Milton continued episode of Tuck Rule Takes. Um, well, gang's all boy, here. Baby. That's Liam. I'm Mike. Al's here. Um, Al, I'm not going to call you Big Al because I, I have a bone to pick with you that you just said before we got on here. So okay. for people who don't know, the the Tuck Rule Take boys are going to be hanging out this upcoming weekend. The whole plan, well, we didn't really have a plan. I volunteered Al's house as the plan, and Al graciously said that we could come over. Well, but- let me get in front of that because originally when we talked about this before, <laughs> I was like, you know what? Why don't you guys just come to my house? You're more than welcome. So don't act like you okay. like involuntarily did this don't don't yeah do that. we very much invited ourselves to al's yeah well, so however however al wants to spin it al's just trying to make himself look good because the whole thing i is, mean it's not that hard with you too ever ever since we've been talking al's like mike you gotta come over you gotta sit on my bidet you gotta put your mouth on my bidet you gotta you got you gotta you gotta drop down Super? squat over my bidet you be uh, crazy and this, there's so many settings doing. okay i got okay. i got lights in there it's got different pulses it's awesome your your anus will never be clean like it's been like this and then guess what and then there's even a little wiper that comes out come to find out al would have been the wiper but but now the bidet is broken supposedly conveniently which i don't even think it is i think al just he's he's afraid of, of what could just, happen i probably just used it wrong honestly you know what just tried it just, it was like you know what let's see if this thing works for the two guests to come over because they're gonna have you know the best time they're probably gonna cross swords too while they're at it while it's going on to just see the water go definitely up crossing swords and just be like Wee! Water's going to the air. We, the bay's going to the air. We. Okay, look at me on the phone. Was, and nothing was, uh, nothing was coming out. And I was like, okay, I gotta get to check that out because uh, it's not good if it's not, if it's uh, broken and not in use. Yeah, yeah so everyone. Speak, in so. Here. so Al just admitted to everyone who's listening to the show that him and his girlfriend have dirty asses since the bidet has been broken. <laughs> That's why they use it so much. Oh yeah. God. Okay, episode one thirty. We're here. So just had to get that out of the way. Um, all right, Liam, you gave us homework. Um, we had to kind of watch up, read up on Joe Milton. And I know um, Al wouldn't fuck this up for a second straight week. So I'm sure he watched Joe Milton every day this week. Well, you know, I, I, I think there's really just one takeaway is that like, sure. Like he, you know, he's fucking imposing. Like we said before, six, five, two yeah, 35, 240 Can't almost do. huge guy. But I, it just, Everything that I've seen, and then like obviously you read about people talking about him. I got his pros and cons pulled up too, so we'll just wrap it up there if you want as well. But it just my question to you guys is: this really just one of those things where it's like the dude has a huge arm, so I think that's why people like him. Yeah, like I think, I like think so. it's like it's like that's Joe Josh Flacco Allen got drafted. Joe Flacco without like yeah, any Joe of Flacco. the any of like the skill. I guess I don't know. No, he's he you know well you know I love Joe Flacco. He can run yeah. better than Joe. Yeah, he's Flacco. on your list. He's on your list. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, he's he on should, your list. You know. Yeah. Lord Flacco, very elite. Well, yeah, he, yeah, I did notice that. So he can run better. So he does have yeah. like that. He, he is that like new, like new age quarterback who can, you know, yeah. run and, you know, has a, has a, a, a howitzer. But yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, he just cannot throw as well unless it's a bomb. Like yeah. if he's thrown over the middle, it's all right. Like the ball gets there sometimes. He might yeah. hospital pass his receiver. Like, you know, the timing is, isn't always great, doesn't always have great anticipation with the throws. But, hey, if anyone's open deep, he's teleporting that ball to their hands. doesn't matter where they are. doesn't matter how deep they are downfield. If he's in his end zone and his receiver's in the opposing end zone, the receiver is still going to have to run forward to catch that ball. Let's read a couple. Uh, let's read some strengths and weaknesses for Joe Please. Milton, shall yes. we? Yeah. Yes. All right. Do this, it is, up. this is according to NFL.com. Do you want me to just read all of them or do you want me to give you the big yeah. ones? Yeah, yeah, go down. Okay. Yeah, whichever ones. All right. So the strengths according to NFL.com for Joe Milton. Elite size and arm strength are both well beyond positional norms. Throws blazing heat to beat coverage into Fucking tight right. windows. Mm-hmm. Delivers long- receivers have broken fingers. Well, oh, we'll get to that. Delivers long off-platform throws with the flick of a wrist. Will stand his ground and take punishing hits to make the throw. Fox. Able to keep eyes downfield while deftly sliding around pocket pressure. Posted, posted 32 tuds against just five INTs over three seasons at Tennessee. Really good numbers. 
And Strong gets potential sacks and escapes the pocket to extend the play. Well, that's a given. When you're that frame, you're going to be able to escape a few sacks. All right, let's get to the uh, the real stuff that we came here to talk about, the weaknesses of Sergio Milton. Disturbing lack of placement and timing as a deep ball passer. Not true. Completed just 38.6% of his throws beyond 10 yards per pro football focus in 2023. Fake news. Not great. Throws with anticipatory throws, running receivers into collisions. So he get, wants to get his receivers hurt. That's yeah. that's always good. Hospital balls. That. Liam Liam did per, say per, that that happens. Yeah, yeah. he did. Per, that's surgery. True. That's, you know, that's. Uh, telegraphs throws between the hashes, giving safeties an easy jump on the ball. Desires to throw the ball it's never happened. Receivers. He threw five picks. How can he give safeties an easy jump on the ball? He threw five picks in three years. Yeah, the safeties could have dropped them or they could have just batted like, them down. That's a lot of incompetence from a lot of safeties, if that's the case. <laughs> but anyway, for sure. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. Desires to throw the ball through receivers rather than deliver with touch. Inconsistent tying his feet to eyes and squaring to his targets. Frequently- this is defamation. He can sue for this. <laughs> Frequently forces moving targets to break try to try to make the catch. Not true. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Him. I'll tell you right, right off the bat. The the sometimes prefers to throw the ball through receivers. That's exactly he's what he's it literally works. Cam Newton. That's really who this yeah. guy is. He is literally but Cam worse. Newton. That's what it, it reminds mean, me yes. of that old Mike Mike Vick commercial where he throws the pass and the dude flies off his feet. Like that's what I imagine volunteer <sighs> practices are like. But like really, those weaknesses aren't too bad like yes the hospital pass is not great yes but like the whole safety thing like i you know not kind of disproved that like if he threw five picks in three years they're really not getting that good of a jump on the ball like yes maybe at the next level they'll be able to do more so so instead of five picks they'll have 11 like that not great but i'll take it i i mean i i think i think at the end of the day his his issues could definitely be, you know, like coached out of him, but he just yeah, seems like the guy he, he, yeah, he just seems like a project that I, I, I am officially, I'll say it now. I'm out on Joe Milton. Wow. Cool. Awesome. I just got shark tanked. Have, him, have also, him as a backup. I'm this also out on Joe. Really? Milton. <laughs> so I come to you for that reason. For, I come asking for $50,000 for only 5% stake in Joe Milton. And both you guys are out on an incredible deal with huge upside potential. And you guys are both out just after reading an NFL scouting report. This is, this is preposterous. And when I'm a multimillionaire because of my Joe Milton stock, I'm not going to help you guys out when you're broke. You can't win them all. You can't, you can't get all of them. So, you know, maybe come back, come back next season, uh, you know, with a, with a better prospect, a better idea. And maybe you'll get, you know, I have one, one I have one, not even next season. I will come back. This episode, I got somebody else, different position. Okay. okay. All right. We'll, 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 we'll do the normal homework thing at the end then where we, where, um, where, where you give us, where you give us your prospect. Um, so, uh, really no way to, um, to segue into, into this. Um, so I know that you all hear probably a lot of people listening. Um, we've all seen Juju Smith Schuster's dick. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. you know, Right off the bat, uh, four point seven. I'd rate it. You yeah. know, not not impressive. Uh, the the balls kind of scared me. Uh, they yeah. seem to be well. It like, was an OTP. Not... Yeah, yeah, but it just it didn't look proportionate. The... Yeah, why yeah, are they up there? Um, also, other questions. Um, why is why is your dick out in a parked car in daylight? Um, also, he had a phone in his hand and then took a picture with the other phone. So like... weird. I, I tried to zoom in to see what he was looking at. I couldn't see. I could just see the reflection of his face. Uh, just all, all kind of weird. You know, why are you posting to Snapchat? The the girl he was with didn't seem too interested in it either. So she yeah, was kind of like grabbing her cup out of the cup holder. Um, yeah, I, I didn't for that. No, I didn't understand it. Um, so kind of thoughts, opinions from um, from my esteemed hosts. What did you think of the uh, penis we all saw today? Bold strategy by Juju. You know, he really hung it out there. Uh, wasn't received well across the board. Um, unilaterally. <laughs> yeah, I would say unilaterally, the feedback wasn't great. And what he was mm-hmm. going for, he probably fell short of. You know, I'm I'm no, you know, virgin to, to pull in the shaft out in cars and whatnot. You know, it happens. Uh, but just... 
the execution, what it could have been done better is all I'm saying. It could have been done better. And, you know, a lot of it's due to his own setup he's got going on there. You know, not that I have the golden cock or anything, but I would say it's better than that one. At this point, is there any more reason to get rid of this guy? Seriously. Like, this this should be the final straw, right? I yeah, mean, thank you. I mean, like, besides the lack of production on the field, the bum knee, now he's showing his junk to everybody yeah. on Snapchat and social media and everything. Like, come on. Like, yeah. it's just ridiculous. Get rid of him. We don't even need him. Like, you just, you don't need him. No. It, it doesn't make sense. I think it's a, it's a microcosm of his career, you know, kind of. the. The hopes, as you see, the <laughs> maybe, maybe high hopes. It was maybe impressive at, at one yeah. time, but just wildly disappointing. Um, I'll yeah. I'll do you guys one better. I don't even think this is a re. I don't think this is the reason to let him go. I think the reason to yeah. let him go was last year, the whole yeah, year. Yeah. Like this, this to but me, this is the is so the weird. Why yeah. are you? Why first of all, why are these? celebrities using snapchat don't they have like some super secret celebrity app they can use no that's the dating app what? but st- so so why are you on snapchat and again i'm just still so confused if you haven't seen it like i i urge you to look it up because it's just yeah. baffling it's not even it's almost like the picture was taken like on purpose by accident like to make look because it's not even like it like nothing's in the middle of the frame it's not yeah. cropped I had, correctly. To, I had to look at the picture for like uh 30 45 seconds yeah and you're like wait a minute i was like there it is like where's waldo (laughs) you're like i found it yeah there it is you're like oh there's the little guy that's gross i mean i like i don't and and i don't know if this is like an unpopular opinion i feel like everybody thinks this if you're ever gonna take a picture of your junk at any time for any reason you have to at least get it to like half mass like or like or just like ideally yeah, something put like you know, like spruce it up, put some garnish yeah. around it or something. But exactly. honestly, you know, set up like breakfast. You get some eggs, you get a couple sausage links, and then you place your make it in funny, between. right? Yeah. Make it funny. <laughs> it, it either needs to be funny or like imposing. Like I want, yeah, boom. I want, I want my dick pics to, to be, be like there it is. Picture. Yeah, where do you there's guys the rank dick. this among like celebrity leaks? Because, uh, like, uh, I assume you guys have seen the Jamal Murray, the yeah. Greg Odens of the yeah. world. Like, like uh, this just Gre- came Greg and Oden, went. Greg Odens got a hand more power well, to him. He's killing it. I Jamal mean, Murray, fine. You know, he's it's fine. Did you guys see the Drake video that he posted before? Or that yes, got, I oh, did. no, not, not that he posted that got leaked. That yeah. was wild. Um, it fake. It but yeah, weird. it had like it, it, weird it, bend in the middle of it, it. and like, it was just and it was also that. all just very weird. Like why it just in in your you're just jerking it. I don't know. It was very strange. But no, to this man with this one, I don't even. It, this is a zero point zero. Like it's just gonna come and go. Pun intended. No one's gonna <laughs> talk about it. You know why? Because no one gives a shit about Juju anymore. He's on the Patriots. Yeah. No one cares about them. I had to like when Al when Al sent up the bat signal. You know, hey guys, we got to find this dick. Like when yeah. I went to look for it, <laughs> on, when I went to look for it on Twitter, I had to, I had to start searching keywords. I typed in yeah. juju. Now I got like soccer players and like a bunch of Chinese posts or like Asian posts or whatever. Bad then idea. I had to type in Snapchat, nothing. I typed in juju Snapchat. I had to scroll, scroll. And then, and then of course, you know, I, I saw it. Um, but then like Liam said, it took me a good like 15 seconds looking at the picture. Yeah. I was like, what? Really? Like, like, I, like, yeah, because there was another one. I swiped. I was like, "Where is it?" You you left out the detail where you took exactly. Let's see. Let, let's take a look at the group chat real quick. You took exactly just to find the time. Uh, fifteen yeah. minutes exactly to find the picture. When I was just like, "Hey, by the way, guys, don't know if you heard this, but uh, apparently this is happening." And Mike right away is like, "Oh, I gotta find this. Let yeah. me go find." Mike that. dropped everything. Could have been in the middle of lunch with the fam and like, hold on oh, a second, guys. So, so, so now I should apologize for being there for my friends when they ask. No, 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 you shouldn't no, apologize saying, for that. I'm you should apologize it's for impressive. the way you tell you're the story. Yeah, I mean, all, all I know is that my friend Al said, guys, there's a, there's, there's, there's a, a the there's a celebrity penis on the loose. 
and yeah. I can't find it. So what did I say? I, you know what? I will. I will take take the burden on myself. I will. Oh my God. I will I will, help, I will help a brother in arms. Out. Attitude. Can I will take it. So I said, you know what, guys? I, I agree. Don't I think worry. it's very noble of Mike. Thank you. Al clearly ha didn't have the detective skills to find nope. the rogue penis. So uh, no, Mike took it upon himself to go. Ten eleven a.m. You guys want to yeah. laugh? Apparently, Juju showed his junk on Snapchat. Mike Sullivan, what? And I said, that's the word around the Twitter sphere, not implying anything. And then Mike Sullivan follows it up. At no, very much implying something. Very Let much me text. search for yeah. Yeah. this dick, BRB. Yeah. Let me yeah. search well, for this thing. Well, when, when you say it, when you say it like that, with that tone, Al, anything could be misconstrued. Yeah, we it sounds weird. Yeah. Well, that's like in court when they're they're reading out like uh, Liam. Can I ask you a, a question? A sexual assault case, and he's like, she's like, no. Please can don't. I ask you a you're question? You're so bad. When in real life, she's like, "No, you're so bad." It's like you're you're misconstruing <laughs> oh, the tone of this. Can I ask you a question? Please if do. I didn't, if I didn't say this, you still think Mike would have found it and still would have been looking for it? I don't think. Oh. I don't know if he would have known about it. You I think know. We, we were. We I was were, living my life. No, you're on Twitter actually. like I am. You would. I known. was living. My I certainly life. wouldn't have. I would have been. You want to know what's crazy, Al? Crazy. I am on Twitter as much as you, and I didn't even see any news of this. So my yeah. my retort to you yeah. is, What's on what are you line? doing? What yeah. are you doing on? I'm looking at the Patriots fans that are overreacting to this. Uh, I, I bet you are. It. I can tell you the yeah. exact. Um, I bet. I don't. I, I don't need to know the dark websites yeah. that you go to to find to find <laughs> your little chocolate sticks to get you off when you're trying to fix the bidet. Okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this kid out. He's actually a good, he's actually a good kid. He's got a good uh, follow up. Oh, he's, he's got a good what? Yeah. Yeah. Watch at, him. at the BG underscore twelve mm. on Twitter. This kid's actually a good follow and he has some good insight. So give him a follow. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I could. Well, guess what? Did did he find the dick? No. I found it. I sent it to you guys. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> so, his insight isn't good enough. He doesn't have that just yet. Seen the picture then instead of uh, marketing 101, yeah. putting down people that could potentially. You no, know, there's no putting down. Stuff. We are uplifting uh, everyone. Man. I'm just saying your detective skills weren't up to par, but thank you for bringing this to our attention. I would never I, I, I put anyone down that. over a dick. Okay. No. So let's just. You, want, you might want to rethink about how you just said that, pal. I, I I racked it in my head. There were a lot of different things I went through, and that's what See, I landed. Liam got that. He understood that. That's where I landed on. That's it. where I landed on. Um, uh, on okay, enough, enough, <laughs> enough, enough, enough about Juju's dick. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, can, can we just? I think we can all just general consensus. He's just got to be gone. Yes. Like I think this is like you guys said though, nail in the coffin, bro. You can't do this. This is stupid. You think I have any reservations? About like this? no, no, we don't. So get him out. We're gonna be drafting people, bringing up, bringing people, and we'll talk in a little bit about someone else they might bring in. So who or who requested a trade, whatever. Um, next one, just another like little one. Uh, Stefan Gilmore, I guess, has finally watched the dynasty. Um, I don't want to harp on this a lot. I just think that it's cool that someone else said something. Um, Stefan Gilmore, I got his tweets right here. Just watch the dynasty. Bill was the greatest coach I've ever been around. Don't let that fool you. I'll never forget. We were a uh, predominantly ma uh, man team during the 2018 season, all the way up to the Super Bowl. When we played the Rams, we switched to zone. Second tweet. No coach would switch what they did all season in a big game like that. And his last tweet or him telling me to play trail technique in Buffalo because the quarterback can't throw against the wind when I was following a big time receiver. If you ever played corner, that's not a good feeling playing trail technique. I shut the wide receiver down to zero catches who was Stefan Diggs, by the way. Um, so wow. Gilmore, I, I love it. Even though he didn't have the best of partings with the Patriots, I guess it was like, you know, the injury stuff, whatever it was. Um, even Stefan Gilmore is looking at that being like, listen, don't let the dynasty fool you. Belichick is the goat, like all this stuff. And we've talked about that too. The fact that he, that Belichick decided to switch the defense in the Super Bowl, biggest game of the year. And then, like he said here, like that was kind of a nice little tidbit that I thought where he told Stefan Gil uh, Gilmore to play trail technique against a receiver, which like he said, you never want to be in that because you're going to feel like you're chasing the receiver all day. But, uh, you know, Josh Allen can't throw in the wind. So that's kind of I, I like that little that little tidbit from Belichick, too. But um, thoughts, comments on this, guys? I, I figured nothing crazy, but I figured we got to bring it up because I love when players do this. Was that Josh Allen night? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 2018. Yeah, or sure. maybe it was the year I before. No, I think I think 18 was uh, McCourty. I think that was the McCourty pick six, right? I have no what idea. What are you talking about? The Bills? I'm yeah, what sure. are you talking about? Oh, I thought you were talking about the pick six. Uh, yeah. pick six. Oh, so was it Kyle Orton? 
No, because Josh no, Allen has been no, there you know for who, a while. No, what do you, you know who it was? It was Nathan Peterman. When was Josh Allen threw that ball? No, I think it was Nathan Peterman. Wait, hold on. One that threw it to McCourty. Because Bill Belichick wouldn't say Nathan Peterman can't throw into the wind. Nathan Peterman can't throw at all. There's no like. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Who is the starting Cause quarterback? Because what? Because because what big time receiver would have been there? Because Stephon Diggs came mm-hmm. after Josh Allen. Right. So no. So you no. You were right. He didn't say thought, big time receiver. He just said receiver. I thought during that he said big is. time following Did a big he? time receiver. Yeah. Oh. Huh. yeah. Uh, either way, it, it's it's, right, I'm it's look this up. yeah yeah yeah. You look it up. I don't even know where to look. I I got dicks on my Twitter, so I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks to Al. Like um, Figuratively and literally. Yeah, what's but anyways, up with that, but uh, but yeah, Al, uh, thoughts though, because because you were you were kind of yeah. Good. No, I mean real quick, it's just all the players are coming to Belichick's defense, rightfully so. I mean, the, it was the, Josh Allen? No shit. Although no, they Diggs wasn't there. No, Diggs yeah. didn't come until like twenty twenty yeah. or twenty twenty one. It wasn't Calvin Benjamin. I'm sorry, Sammy no. Watkins. Sammy maybe Watkins, that's no, Sammy maybe. Watkins wasn't there. Either. But yeah, just you know, good for good for the players for continuously no, stepping in to be. defend Bill. Good for that. He might be off a year too. I mean, this is recollection. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Either way, though, like, or it might, you know, big time, just like their number one guy. It doesn't, it, you know, it's yeah. not, it doesn't necessarily. Terrell Pryor. Could have been Terrell Pryor. Could have been. Either way, though. Yeah, I like that. That coming in there. Uh, Liam, any thoughts on Gilmore? And, yeah. and do you think maybe, and also, he's still a free agent. It'd be nice to see him come here. I don't think it's going to happen, but um, cool. yeah. I uh, I love this. I've been eating this up. I think since the episode that you were away and me and Al just were on here, I was talking about how I saw the Edelman interview with um, Ernie Adams or Ernie somebody. Adams. It was but Ernie basically, Adams. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically I've gone on a tangent since then and watched a bunch of episodes. And basically he's like the freedom fighter out there. He's yep. trying to right the wrong and tell everyone like, hey – what do you think about the documentary? Every Patriots player is like, yeah, this is bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Yep. They're all putting it in their place, and I think it's fantastic. So now the players are coming out, especially Diggs, who's been scorned, is perfect. Yeah. But, yeah, just nice little nice little tidbit there. I'm sure as players watch it, they'll kind of, they'll kind of back Belichick on that. Um, I guess just another quick thing before we get into kind of like the two like main Patriots stuff. Uh, my My thoughts on this, uh, you guys can probably guess it, but I don't know if you guys have any like pressing thoughts you want to talk about. Tom Brady said, I don't know where it was when he said it, yeah. whatever, yeah. but he said that he'd be open to returning uh, kind of like midway late in the year to a contender, like if their quarterback went down or whatever. And of course that spawned everybody, you know, oh, Patriots, listen, Brady's, you know, throwing out the bat signal if you want him, whatever. Um, I, I've, I've softened my stance on like my, my, like outward hatred for Brady. I still, it's, it's still not great towards him right now. Give me like 10 years and they'll be fine. Um, mm-hmm. Just go away. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't want, like, why would you come back? What happens if you come back and you suck, you come back, you do well, you, you're just like a hired assassin. I don't know. My thoughts on this are just go away, dude. So what do you guys think? I mean, this is, I, I figured there would be a lot of this happening after Joe Flacco had that incredible run with the Browns where mm. everyone's like, Joe Flacco yep. was was mids when he played. He comes back in big balls, and now all these quarterbacks who haven't played in like two or three years are going to be like, holy shit, maybe a team could use me. Maybe a – no, like, you know, if anyone can think that, it's Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. But just because Joe Flacco did it in an extremely unique situation where the Browns lost – four fucking quarterbacks in one season yeah that's why it's not yeah, yeah let's not get crazy here we're like oh this is gonna happen again next year maybe they'll pick tom brady there probably will be a starting quarterback that goes down and when mm-hmm. he does teams already right now have the backup quarterback mm-hmm. and if they don't they're gonna be drafting one so let's chill the fuck out i can't imagine this happens and no team who has a quarterback that doesn't get hurt is going to be like all right you know it's it's week 16 let's sign tom brady we'll finish out the regular season he'll carry us to the super bowl everyone on the team would be like what the fuck like yes tom brady's the goat but what he hasn't practiced with us it was a miracle that joe flacco did it everyone was captivated by it because it shouldn't have happened it didn't really make sense he had no chemistry with with the receivers it just it's a pipe dream We'd all love to see it. I get it, but Jesus Christ, people, let's reel down these expectations. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep mine short and sweet. Just move on. Don't don't feed into the bullshit. You're gonna have a new quarterback 
literally in about 11 days. So today, as we're recording, it's what? Sunday, April 14th. So the draft is 11 days away. Yeah. It is. Yeah, 11 days away. So yeah, on April 25th, at about 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you're going to have your new quarterback. So yeah. Yeah. enough with enough with Brady. Just enough. Oh, Are we sure you. we're going to have a quarterback? Yes. It's going to be I think so. I think so. And then this actually leads into the next one. Um, Adam Schefter, basically, I think his exact quote, uh, not that it's a long quote, but I got it, telling Commanders uh, fans, I think you can go get those Jaden Daniels jerseys. Um, Al, I know you are a big, we're all Jaden Daniels fans, Mm -hmm. but, um, I know you, you kind of have spoken about him a lot. Um, Actually, I'm a a Marvin Harrison fan. This would be, we know, we know. Yeah, we we know. (laughs) This would basically solidify the Patriots are taking Drake May or JJ McCarthy, which we'll, we'll kind of, I guess, touch on that as well. But, um, yeah. How do you feel? Schefter saying the commanders are, are basically a shoe in for Jaden Daniels. I mean, no, I have, and it's not the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The commanders. Sorry. I got three words for that. Fucking Chad Ryland. <laughs> hey, whoa. God, God, whoa. God, God, damn, God damn it. Chad Ryland. Of course he had to make the field goal you against the Broncos on Christmas Eve. Fuck the Broncos. I'm like, f- like, fuck that. It, 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 if he had just missed that field goal and they would have lost that game, it could have been number two overall taking Jaden Daniels. But you know what? I think they like Drake May better, and I think that they just think Drake May fits the system better. Mm-hmm. So if they're happy with the pick and that's the guy they ultimately wanted, then it's really not going to matter in the grand scheme of things, is it? So just hope the kid can play and hope he's not Mitch Trubisky 2.0 or Mac yeah. Jones 2.0. It's just yeah. the fear I have. Liam, how do you feel? Does, I, I know you're sense. not happy, but. It does make sense, though. Like Cliff Kingsbury mm-hmm. in college, he had uh, Patrick Mahomes. In the pros, he gets Kyler Murray, both of them scrambling big arm quarterbacks. I wouldn't exactly call Jaden Daniels a big arm, but he could run that system to to perfection. It makes Mm -hmm. sense. No one looks at Drake May and goes, yeah, he could really run a a spread offense. He could could really run my air raid system perfectly if he scrambles out right and throw. No, no one's looking at that. You know, he's he can move. Yeah, but he's. It's not Jaden Daniels who rushed for a thousand yards against really good competition. It's it's Drake May. Like no one's mm. no one's super psyched about Drake May. Friggin' JJ McCarthy shooting up draft boards. People are so not excited about Drake May. So yeah, <sighs> I get it. Like it makes sense. But obviously. Well, why is that? Why and I feel like that's the because there's always every year, and I think we've all said it at one point, there's always one or two, but like there's always one player that shoots up the draft boards and that one player that kind of somehow like falls out of favor of like the experts and then in turn like the fan base or like the fans and everything yeah. why does it seem like that's drake may this year like fall falling out of the graces of everybody i don't get it I, like i don't i yeah. don't want to go out on a limb here Maybe but it. like he's he's boring like he's you know uh, uh white guy who's marginally athletic from a school that's never produced a good quarterback. Like, yeah, he's got decent arm talent, but then he'll miss a short pass. Like Mm -hmm. he's not particularly great at anything. You watch his highlights and I can watch like a whole 50 minute highlight reel and only be excited for like, out of those 50 minutes, I can be excited for like 17. So if if Drake may is average, what's JJ McCarthy? Yeah. Sucks. I mean, like not sucks, but like he doesn't, he doesn't give me anything. I can watch 50 minutes of JJ McCarthy film and see three throws because everything else is a handoff. I'm like, Oh my God, right. like the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Like right. he he's thrown like a, 128 passes in college or probably I'm wrong with that number, but like a staggeringly low amount of passes for a college career. So I, I watched JJ McCarthy. I'm like, I, you know, I guess like I watched, Peyton Manning throws 60 times in one game. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I guess JJ McCarthy, by the way, uh, they just tweeted an hour ago or it kind of just went out. The Patriots are meeting and having dinner with him tonight. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so, the lining, yeah. dining and stand up 69. Uh, I don't, I, I just, Drake May, like, I know, you know, he's, like you said, boring white dude. Those powder blue jerseys aren't going to get anybody excited. Like, he kind of looks a little doofy, too, which, like, all, which, if we're being honest, the majority of the white quarterbacks look doofy, unless your name is, like, Joe Burrow. Uh, Yeah, that's exactly what he looks like. But 
I, the I, only reason Joe Burrow was cool is because he smoked a stogie in the locker room after a big win. Like, yeah, if he did, yeah. if he didn't throw seven touchdowns a game, yeah, exactly. If he didn't throw seven touchdowns a game, no one would be like, "Wow, Joe Burrow's really a world beater." Like the numbers blew up at you because you're like, mm-hmm. "Damn, he's throwing for 500 yards and seven touchdowns." But other than that, he's fucking boring. You look at Joe Burrow; it's like he should be working at Dunkin' Donuts. He just looks like an average fucking guy. Yep. Yep. Al, what's up? Why? Why Drake May? Why is he? Why has this happened to him? <laughs> because of a, a subpar junior year, because of regressing sure. from his really good sophomore year. Yeah. And I think mm-hmm. it's just I think Michigan winning the national championship was big for JJ McCarthy's mm. draft stock, right? Huge. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I mean, I know we made the comparison, but like Mac Jones, don't tell me it didn't help Mac Jones the fact that he won- just won a national championship with Alabama. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, don't say that well, doesn't help. Like, some coaches, some organizations, they like winners. And when they see Drake May, they see the regression. Like, yeah, you have a big arm, but can this guy come in and really lead your organization? Mm -hmm. And that's what you need. That's the next guy you need. You need the guy. Yeah. Can he be the guy? I have my reservations. And people are so psyched about J.J. McCarthy because they're like, oh, it'll be an easy transition to the NFL. He comes in and a team can run the ball, you know, 25 times and he's used to it. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. But how many teams have a good running game? The Ravens and they don't need a quarterback. Like who are the best rushing teams this year? Just off the top of your heads. They whoever they are, they don't need a quarterback. Yeah, like, probably being honest. Niners, yeah. Don't need a quarterback. Ravens don't need a quarterback. Who the fuck else runs the ball? I mean, I guess you Thank could say you. you could say the Patriots, but that might have only been by like necessity. Yeah, and they and, and, they and yeah, good. so yeah, yeah, so I don't know. <sighs> yeah, so like the, running the ball is, it's like the the mid range in basketball. Like it, it's there, but it's not popular. Like yeah, no one, no one's getting psyched up about it. I was watching one of the XFL games, and they pulled. Uh, uh, Michigan, a dude who played for Michigan like a year or two ago, to the sidelines. They interviewed him, and they were like. What uh? What's John Harbaugh gonna do as the coach of the Chargers? And he had one answer. He goes, "He's gonna run the damn ball." And I'm like, "Okay, like sure." Yeah, they just got rid of Austin Eckler, so I don't know who they're they're gonna yeah, run the ball. They got rid with, of everybody. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> like they got rid of the top three. He didn't options say they're gonna get offense. results. Yeah, he didn't say they're gonna get results. You know, they can run thirty times for sixty-seven yards, but like. I was like, you know, more power to you. But that's why everyone's eating up J.J. McCarthy. It's like, oh, he doesn't have to do anything. It's like, I don't want to draft a quarterback that doesn't have to do anything. I don't know. I, I still think, and Al, you said it, it, it seems like the Patriots are, like, circling in on Drake May. Like, they think, you know, Gerard Mayo had nice things to say about him a couple weeks ago. Um, I feel like it, what's coming out is that they believe that he can be the guy that's going to, like, lead the team and be that quarterback. So, I don't know. It. I think. I, I think right now, I, I would probably, if we had to like bet on it, I would say the Patriots are taking Drake May, which I mean, I, I don't know. Myself. Yeah, I know. I know you want Marvin Harrison Jr., which no one's talking about him at all, which is crazy. To Everyone's me. talking about him. That's the problem. Like, Not a Patriots single person. Fans, it's all quarterbacks. Pa- pa- Patriots Nation is split perfectly in half between the quarterbacks and a bunch of people who are like, fucking take Marvin Harrison. Uh, I don't know. Al, you still think they're taking Drake May now with this news kind yeah. of coming out? Yeah. yeah, they are. I mean, they're, they're going to take a quarterback. It's either going to be Drake May or it's going to be J.J. McCarthy. Mm-hmm. Unless they pull, like, a typical Patriots, trade down, and then they trade, like, take, like, Joe Alt to be their left tackle or something like that, which I wouldn't hate for the no, line. But, but depending on what they do following exactly. that, obviously, exactly. yeah. Let, right, you'd have to go get, like, Michael Penix yeah. or <laughs> Joe Milton or whatever. But Joe Milton, Bo Nix? Um, no, not Bo Nix. Yeah, so um, he is like if we're fitting stereotypes, though, like what other quarterback will we have than Drake May or JJ McCarthy? Like, come on, it's we're the Patriots. Like, obviously, we're gonna get the uh, gosh, my golly, do you will? Yeah, we're gonna get the boring white guy. Yeah. That's what that's what we're, that's we're what gonna we're get, get the Ned Flanders. That's who we're yeah. gonna yes, that's absolutely. We're gonna get. How do you do, Lee neighbor? <laughs> well, do ho- Lee? hopefully, yeah. hopefully, we get the Clark Kent that can turn into Superman on Sundays. That's all I want. Lee that's all I want. Retired. Um, but oh, yeah, Superman, but um. With whoever is going to be the quarterback, Patriots need weapons. There is a potential weapon out there that the Patriots have all been, thank you, uh, better than the penis one earlier, um, that people have been been talking about. Brandon Ayuk reportedly had, like, officially requested a trade from the Niners, but then his agent, I guess, came out 
like an hour or so later, basically said fake news, not it, whatever. But yeah. for the for the sake of being a little, um, you know, a little a little entertaining, let's just assume that he did um, that he did request the trade. Let's get a little messy here. Say he does. And I guess there were like there's three teams involved. It's the Ravens. What was it? The Steelers. Steelers. And then like a mystery third team, which I love the mystery third team because that mystery yeah, third team is who ended up getting um uh what's his name? Calvin Ridley, because it was the Titans. Yeah. Um so I'm hoping the Patriots are the, third the mystery team. third team in this case is the fucking Titans. It's the again. Titans again. Just, they they are committed to destroying wide receivers careers. No, they but around. but the thing is they they only get like slightly older ones that like other teams like aren't aren't like Vibe, they're, bat- vibe. they're batting a hundred percent. They're like the Ray Lewis over the middle of destroying wide receivers. They're no, really I, good at it. Andre Johnson. Yeah, dude, it started Jones. started with Andre Johnson. Yeah, yep. It's over, yeah. Randy Moss too. At one point, he yeah, was. I Randy always Moss, forgot about that. Randy Moss as well. Oh was, god. Oh. Yeah, um, they're taking out the goats. This is brutal. So, uh, Brandon, I you people are saying you know it's the whole it's the whole thing where it's like. Um, Whereas like Patriots offer the 30, what is it? 34, 36, wh- whatever their pick is like the, like the second round pick and whatever, who says no. Do you guys think the Patriots one actually, no, cause that, cause like they should, because Mayo said that they're still in the market. Do you think the Patriots have what it takes to get Brandon? I w- would a second round pick and something else juju in his weird little dick pics. Yeah. I'm sure you think that the Patriots could get Brandon Ayuk. And if that happens, what's your excitement level on it? If they went out and got Brandon Ayuk and got rid of Juju's contract and (laughs) got rid of, you know, a pick or two, Mm -hmm. I'd be ecstatic because then you actually take care of a need. And guess what? You fill in the need at number one receiver then with number three overall, you take the quarterback. So that's quarterback and receiver, two big needs that you needed done mm-hmm. off the board. Then the second round, if you want, you can go a tackle or you can go another receiver if you want to. And then in the third round, actually, I had um, I had a mock draft that I did the other day because I was bored. Wow. And I- and because I because I can't figure out mock drafts, by the way, I've tried. I don't I admit like, do I not have you, the patience? I don't know what it is. No, basically, it. it's when it's your turn to select. You select a player and then, you know, you wait accordingly for the other teams to take them off the board. And then when it's your turn again, you take another player. Yeah. You know, well, what we no should do? fucking shit. Honestly, Leo. <laughs> honestly, you know, what we should do. We should do a mock draft live right sure. now. The first three rounds, just the first three rounds. That's all you need to do. Sure. I'd like to figure that. it out. I yeah. can do it. I can do it right now if you want. All right, we'll I, can, I can I can we'll pull be it up. the war room. We'll be the war room. Although we'll be the war room. Yeah, we'll be the war room. And I but but I real quick, you, just to, to, to finish the point, then you can go and get other needs and you don't have to spend a pick on a receiver. So why not take care of that with a really good or, wide receiver? Yeah. In Brandon Ayuk. Go ahead, Leo. Or you know, you, you trade for Brandon Ayuk, you select Marvin Harrison. Jacoby Brissett has the best year of his career. That's too much. You can't. I think if if you're gonna get Brandon Ayuk, I, I don't think a receiver is even on the table unless you're in like the don't later want the rounds. Patriots to have the best receiving core in the league. I yeah, would like totally that, but the, yeah. the way the way I'm seeing it, if you if you draft Drake May, Brandon Ayuk, you get him with that second pick, and then you kind of yeah. move up, do what you got to do, like Al said, like you know, get, get alignment, whatever it happens to be. I'd be I'd be down with that. Uh, I like Brandon yeah. Ayuk. So I think Drake he'd be May good. can tell. Brandon Ayuk and all the other Patriots receivers how to save money on their car insurance. Like, what the fuck are we gonna do with Drake May? Listen, man, I am I'm I'm already in on Drake May. Like I am I'm I'm fine with him. I know he looks he looks he looks a little goofy, but he doesn't look Mac Jones goofy. Uh like let's just let's stop it there. Like he he looks like he's got a little bit of a little bit of something. So by the way, I have the mock draft ready when you guys want to do it. So what do you do? So you you just tell me who you want to pick. I'll tell you who's on the board and we'll make the picks. We'll okay. be the pick. We'll, we'll be Elliot Wolf. We'll be the guys. Okay. I'm All right. Down. All right. So here, I'll start the draft. Not Marvin Harrison Jr. Okay. Kale Williams went one. Jaden Daniels went two. Who do you guys want at three? Fuck me. I'm in. I'm in Drake May. That's, that's my, that's Mar- my thing. Marvin Harrison. Come on. Al, God. you're the you're I'm the, the decider. This is the, you're easy the deciding one here. Like, you know what? Mark, let's 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 do... have some fun. And let's take Marvin Harrison. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do okay. Marvin All Harrison right. Jr. Let's see what happens. All right. So here, let's go. Let's click on this. And let's, yeah, let's take Marvin Harrison Jr. All right. So Marvin Harrison Jr. is taken. Okay. 
Joe Heavy Alcott entry. taking it four. Neighbors at five. Drake May went sixth. Early. Oh. Uh, oh the no. Washington receiver went ninth. McCarthy went 11th. Brock Bowers, 12th. I'm just naming the big guys. Brock obviously. Bowers. Yep. Um, so let me see if I can move this a little bit faster. Brock so, Bowers was someone that the people were saying the man. Patriots could like trade back and get him. I'm like, no, like I like, sure. He might be like one of the best tight ends coming out, but I don't. Okay. Like, no, no, no. So, so now the Patriots are on the clock at 34. Who's and that? They, uh, so it depends what we want. So we took the receiver. Okay. So a quarterback, a tackle mm-hmm. and an edge rush. Who, who are the QBs? Who, who's, who's so there? for the QBs, we have yeah. Bo Nix, Michael Penix, Spencer Rattler, Michael Pratt, Jordan Travis, Joe Milton, Austin Reeds, uh, to his brother, Sam Hartman. I think because we went with Liam's pick the first time, Mike, you're big on Michael Penix. I'm going Penix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm hoping his health, his health checks out. I think you got Penix and Marvin Harrison Jr. What are we looking at for others? So, okay. So here, so let's look at, well, okay, fine. Let's look at the tackles real quick. Go for value. So for offensive tackles. Yep. Just trying to click this. Here we go. Uh, Jordan Morgan from Arizona, Kingsley Beast. Sua Matea from BYU, Kieran Amigdia from Yale, Blake Frisch, uh Blake Fisher from Notre Dame. I've Would heard all these Patriots names. Pick and people said that they're Yale. all good. Yeah, Patriots so, pick a guy from Yale. That screams makes sense. I th- I think I think we go Penix in this round. All right, all right, well, let's go Penix. What are we we'll looking take- at for kickers? No. Chad Ryland, baby. <laughs> Chad. That's what we're All looking right. at for kickers. So let's add fucking Ryland, the goat, the All young right. goat. So All right. So let's fast forward to the third round. So now third for the round. third round, we're at 68 overall. So now we need, let's take a look at the tackles. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think we got to go tackle here. I mean, Blake Fisher's still on the board. All right. I mean, mm. uh, yeah, mm. but at this point, do you just take the best available? Yeah. Who are the best players available? Overall players. Let's look at the board. Safety, Jaden Hicks from Washington State, Edron Cooper, linebacker from Texas A&M, Junior Colson, linebacker, Michigan, uh, Kyrie Jackson, corner from Oregon, Raylan Trice, edge from Washington, uh, Spencer Rattler, uh, Devontae's Walker, wide receiver, North Carolina. Mm, no, nah, you already uh, got defensive line. Like there's there's a bunch yeah. we can pick from. I think we go tackle. We got to go tackle. Right. Yeah. Like I, I, I think we do too. And listen, Fisher. Fisher's the best one available. I mean, he can sure up your left so side a little bit. Mm. Let's is just pick him. Left? I think he's a right. Is he a right? Uh-oh. Yeah. He's a right. Uh well, you can always move in one of the left tackle. I know they said he's gonna yeah, be that's right, true. but that's you true. can move him to left tackle if you need yeah, to. Yeah, I think let's just can. take Blake Fisher just to Yeah, I think I think you can I I think you can train it into him. All right. So let's see here. So now it's gonna go through. And let's see the grade. Let's just see what we get for grades for this draft. That'd be fucking good. Okay. Let's take I'm guessing look. B plus. That's going to be my my guess. Because yeah. I don't think they're going to like our third pick. Yeah. Just, I'm, just, right I'm literally just yeah. waiting for it to load. And of course, it's not. Loaded. Or they might not like the Penix pick. They might think. He allowed yeah. just three sacks last year. But man, yeah. Actually. So dumb. All right. Here we go. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the Marvin Harrison Jr. pick. A plus. It's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so yeah. 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 That uh, makes sense. Michael Pe- Michael Penix Jr., second round, 34th overall. B plus. Okay. Okay. Makes I sense. I don't even know if that's accurate, but sure. Blake Should Fisher, third round, 78th overall, B minus. Okay. Overall yeah. draft grade, A minus. We're in, guys. Super For Bowl. Three rounds. That's Super Bowl to me. That's what that that's what that says to me. But oh, do you, do you think that that's the way? I, I think kind of before we um before we move on to to Liam's Liam's new prospect, um I think the way the Patriots go in this draft, I think they go quarterback first, I think they go tackle second, and then they just deal with receiver, like trading back up or try because I guess it is like a deep a deep draft for receiver, so I think they might try to get someone that they like and then go on from there, which I, I think will piss off some Patriots fans. Um, but I think if you're going to get a new quarterback, you got to shore up the line too. Um, I don't know. that That's just how I see them going. How do you guys see them going? Because we're all assuming they're taking a quarterback first round. So, I mean, that's that's just kind of the direction I think that a lot of fans yeah. are wanting to go in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. get get the quarterback, know who's going to be throwing the ball this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just Fuck move on. The fans. 
You want Marvin we, Harrison Jr. I was going to say, we are fans. Happening. We are fans of the team. And it's yeah, just unfortunately not going to happen. We're retarded. We don't listen to the fans. Like on it, but the thing, if they took Marvin Harrison Jr., I wouldn't be upset. It'd be one of those things no, where can't be upset some people would be because people would be like, Oh, you're never gonna be here again in this this high up. Why don't you take a quarterback? What happens if they take Bo Nix in the second? He turns out to be fine. Like it, it is what it is. Yeah. Like some people were upset with the Patrick Mahomes pick. Like everyone's gonna be pissed at something. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I don't know. We'll but, see. Uh the, the draft's coming up. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um but did you guys have anything else you want to touch on before before we get Liam's surprise uh nope. surprise prospect of the of the week, depending on who it is? Nope. Is it a is it is it a quarterback, Liam? Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna I'm, I'm not even gonna guess. He, who, he said it wasn't earlier in the episode. He said this one wasn't. Who are you? Oh, okay. I I, I thought you said it was one that we would know. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a quarterback, so that doesn't matter. Who I don't who, even we, know if you'll know. who are we talking about? So does the name, hold on, Adonis Mitchell mean anything to you? Oh Texas yeah, wide receiver. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think? What are our thoughts here? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I I've seen A. his D. name, Mitchell. Yeah, but have you seen anything about him? Much like no. the Joe Milton, of course we've heard him. You haven't seen anything about him. So let me let me read you off some stats here, just just to kind of paint a word picture. So okay, three years in college, his freshman year. 29 catches, 426 yards, four touchdowns. Pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Second year, only nine catches, 134 yards. Of those nine catches, three of them were tops. And okay. then last year, which is why he's projected to be a late first, early second pick, 55 catches, 845 yards, and 11 tubs. So he's kind of a one-year wonder, although I think three touchdowns on nine catches the year beforehand, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. But basically, my thing with this guy is he smoked Alabama. He's a fantastic player who's got – I don't want to be – I hate the comparison game. But I'm mm -hmm. going to do it anyway. He's got incredible run after the catch ability, and they did not use him as such. They really used him as a deep threat. Did not if he was in Oregon's offense, it would have been perfect. You really would have been able to see his skill set. But because he's got blazing fast change of direction speed, they used him as a deep threat. He can move like C.D. Lamb after the catch. Dude's mm -hmm. fantastic. Big body guy. I'm looking at, these are his weakness here. I'll start out with that. Intensity can fluctuate game to game. I'm not too worried about that. He's about to be mm -hmm. a pro. They'll fucking fix that. Yep. Allows smaller players into his space to contest catches. Small criticism, but it's fair. Mm -hmm. Cradle catcher who fights football when catching with his hands. They say he's not a great hands catcher, although... One of his strengths is he's incredible. At yeah, I'm looking at that too because you have the NFL.com pulled up, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the same that, that it like contradicts itself. So yeah. yeah, so that one's a little weird. He needs to keep routes on time with better efficiency and finish. I think his route running is actually very detailed, very fantastic. I'm Either way, you can coach that. Yeah, yeah. yes, but he's already got a great feel for it where he pushes the corner outside when he's cutting inside. He's really good at disguising and masquerading his routes. Doesn't play with aggression or sustain when asked to run block. No one fucking run blocks, so I get it. Like Jimmy Graham made a career <laughs> off of not run blocking. He's a tight end. Like that is, I'm not fucking worried about that we're not the 49ers we're not looking for run blocking from wide receivers but overall the dude's a stud his positives are overwhelmingly positive yeah and if if we're not going to take marvin harrison jr this guy is a very fu be uh, la feasible option to take at wide receiver late you know i would trade back into the first round to get a guy like this not many great wide receivers come out of Texas. This guy catches my eye. I'm just looking for substitutes. Recently, I've been trying to look at deeper wide receivers that aren't Marv, Rome, and neighbors, uh, neighbors, like that. any yeah. of the top guys. Like, because, like you said, deep wide receiver class. Why is it so deep? Let's see who's past the top four. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the guys that I came across. He's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I, I see there's one at the bottom of that. The, like the sources tell us, like a quote from someone, I guess an AFC scouting director, if he can play every game like he played the Alabama game, he'll be one of the best receivers in the league. They have first yes. round corners and he gave them problems. So I like all his positives too. like, what's the one ridiculous catch web? Like you said, bringing yeah. in off frame throws from all directions. I like that. 
Uh, foot quickness, cool with that. Shiftier on inside routes, cool with that. Break tackles, that's awesome. Um, I I would be, I would be completely content if the Patriots yes. got him as their receiver from the draft. And for good reason, he's a stud. But I encourage you to watch the film. This year. I will Next watch that. Next yeah. week we'll come back. Uh, watch this well. guy's a big baller. This guy's okay. fantastic. A Donnie Mitchell yeah, episode. It, it, it's easy to say if he plays every game like he played Alabama. Of course. He'll be a top right wide receiver. Yeah, that's – how realistic is that? It's possible, but probably not. But either way, you know he's got it in him. With the Jaden Daniels film, I went right to the Alabama game because that's just the standard I go by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's Alabama. I guess he's the seventh-ranked wide receiver. That's fine. No issue with that. Uh, I guess he runs or what four three nine forty. I think that's what. Oh no, four three four forty. Cool. Like I, yeah, I'm fine. Al, any? Uh, have you have you like really looked at anything with him or? Uh, I'm I'm kind of in the him? I'm kind of in the new phase, like yeah. new stage of like I'm gonna learn him, see what yeah. see what his weaknesses are, the strengths are, everything else. But he's really not getting much love, <clears throat> and it's just because the top it's so front loaded. We got studs. I am yeah. I am so scarred from names like Nikhil Harry and Tyquan <laughs> Thornton that I'm oh. like I'm so anybody that they draft mm. right now I'm just like from from a receiver standpoint it's like uh, it's I like, we'll just see what happened but I, I think this guy I've I've seen his name before so when you said it I did recognize it so yeah that'll be the homework Donnie Mitchell we'll take a look at everything um, I could I'd, I'd be happy with him uh, just from like what I've seen the few highlights I've seen. Uh, he's six two, so that's a that's a nice, nice height. Nothing N- crazy. Nikhil's stats weren't much better. Like Nikhil's best year, he was more consistent. He had two thousand yard receiving yeah. seasons at Arizona State compared to none for Adani. But never cracked ten uh, touchdowns. Most he had was nine his junior mm-hmm. year. Different players. Yeah, he's probably he's probably not a huge pussy like Nikhil Harry is. I yeah, Nikhil Harry is uh, is yeah that that's one that's going to give Patriots fans PTSD for a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, so all right, Donnie Mitchell, he's he's on Tuck Rule Takes Radar. Uh, you guys have anything else you want to bestow upon Patriots fans before we depart tonight? I think we should all do a mock draft and come back next time with okay our findings. okay i will do it now i will i will put in the very research thoughtful yes we gotta know all these guys because i didn't know half of those tackles i knew like the top two yeah, yeah. okay yeah. all right so mock draft and adani mitchell uh, and who's, like, uh full, so who's the pick draft. i want this going seven like i want a full oh jesus seven. all right full. Yeah. Who's the pick? Who who's the pick with the with the third pick Drake. for the pass? Yep. Drake May. I'm week. going Drake May. I think I think I'm gonna solidify him. I, I think I'm I'm putting my foot down from here on out. He is gonna be my pick. I don't think I'm wavering anymore. And, and I'm happy well, with it. We Drake only got May. one more week to ask after this. So yeah, oh, this Drake May. Yeah, that's true. Drake Liam traded. You think they tra- oh no. Okay. I, I wouldn't hate it's it depending on what they do. Uh, they trade it. Oh God! They, yeah, that all headlines have been so adamant that we are using this pick. We are using this pick. They're just trying to build excitement so somebody makes a ridiculous offer that the Patriots cannot refuse. But make an offer you can't refuse, and then they do it. <laughs> I wouldn't hate it. I mean, you move back, you get you know you get one of the top receivers, then get a quarterback. Suicide across Patriots Nation. Like fans will blow yeah. their fucking top. When Bill Belichick trades the first round pick for years and years and years, and now we finally get the third and they trade it again, I can see it now. Nooses being tied and mm. gunshots all across the New England area. The more things change, the more they stay the same with a picture of like exactly. a sad Gerard Mayo or some shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Yep. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, like you said, Al, we only have one more week of this and the draft's finally here. Then we can actually move on with looking towards the 2024 season for the Patriots. So I'm excited for Liam, for Al. I'm Mike. This was Tuck Rule Takes episode 130. We'll see you next week when I, at that point, I would have used Al's bidet at that point. So yes, see you guys then. We are out. Audi.